What's going on you guys, this is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new video and today what we're going to be taking a look at is BenQ's new entertainment monitor. This is the EW3280U and it is a 32 inch 4K monitor and if you notice it looks very similar to the EX2780Q monitor that I reviewed over two months ago and it offers very similar specs as well. But the main thing is that this is for entertainment whereas the EX2780Q is for gaming. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll leave a link down in the description below or you could click on the eye. But let's take a look at the EW3280U and see what it offers and how it overall performs. So now let's take a look at what comes in the box. Inside you'll get the monitor itself, the base, the stand, a remote control, the quick start guide and some other documents, the power cable, an HDMI 2.0 cable, and a USB Type-C cable. Now taking a look at the ports, the EW3280U offers two HDMI ports, a display port, a USB Type-C port to connect to a one cable connectivity device like Apple MacBooks. Setting everything up was very easy, just install the base to the stand using the one hand screw, then connect the stand to the monitor and use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten it and you are done. Taking a look at the specs, this monitor is a 32 inch IPS panel that has a 4K resolution, it has 95% DCI-P3 color gamut, and it has a 5 millisecond response time with a refresh rate of 60 hertz. And two of the major things that this monitor offers, like the EX2780Q, is the HDR technology and having an integrated 2.1 channel sound, and we'll talk a little bit more about that soon with some audio tests. Now taking a look at the body of the monitor, it has a subtle bronze matte finish like on the EX2780Q on both the base and the chin of the monitor. I would prefer an all black finish, but it's not too overwhelming. The monitor has a pretty thin bezel and on the chin you can see the built in left and right speakers and on the bottom left there's a scroll wheel for the volume. In the middle there is a sensor that detects ambient lighting to control the brightness of the screen depending on the environment. On the back, the monitor can be Visa mounted by just removing a piece of the frame and on the bottom there's a power button, the 5 key navigator, and two custom buttons. Taking a look at the remote buttons, you have the power, the input, HDRI, the menu, brightness intelligence, the BenQ low blue light feature button, the audio presets, volume controls, and the directional and OK buttons. Now just like the EX2780Q, this monitor offers BenQ's HDRI technology which combines both HDR and Brightness Intelligence Plus to create a better version of HDR. HDR displays a broader range of color and contrast, resulting in a more vivid, realistic image and details are more refined and images appear more accurate. Brightness Intelligence Plus will adjust the brightness and shadows automatically by using the ambient sensor on the monitor so you will get a clearer image and combined with HDR you will also get better colors without straining your eyes so you can receive the best image quality. Now this monitor offers three HDR presets which are cinema, game, display and also to just turn off HDR. So now let's take a look at some different HDR presets while watching something different. Now let's talk about the 2.1 channel sound built into the monitor. Like the EX2780Q, there are a left and right speakers on the front and on the back there is a subwoofer and this is all powered by BenQ's Trivolo Audio. The monitor offers 5 presets, game, cinema, pop slash live, dialogue slash vocal, and rock slash party. In my testing, I really like the presets and I really like the speakers on the monitor. I replaced my old TV and used this monitor instead in my bedroom and compared to some TV speakers, these do not disappoint. I tested it a lot while watching TV shows, movies, YouTube videos, and listening to music. Since the speakers are aiming at you unlike regular TV speakers, the clarity of the audio is much better. 
The bass is not too overpowering, but it's still noticeable with certain presets enabled. And since everything is integrated into the monitor, that means there's more space on your desk since you won't need a soundbar and a subwoofer on the floor. It makes the setup more minimalistic and more organized. So now let's take a listen on how the different preset audio sounds and listen to certain things. There's nothing more powerful than the lover family. You turn that into anger, there's nothing more dangerous. Maybe this is the end, but we're gonna go out together. You know I'd ride to the death with you. Nothing more powerful than the lover family. You turn that into anger, there's nothing more dangerous. Maybe this is the end, but we're gonna go out together. You know I'd ride to the death with you. There's nothing more powerful than the lover family. You turn that into anger, there's nothing more dangerous. Maybe this is the end, but we're gonna go out together. You know I'd ride to the death with you. There's nothing more powerful than the lover family. You turn that into anger, there's nothing more dangerous. Maybe this is the end, but we're gonna go out together. You know I'd ride to the death with you. There's nothing more powerful than the lover family. You turn that into anger, there's nothing more dangerous. Maybe this is the end, but we're gonna go out together. You know I'd ride to the death with you. insane <laughs> literally everything the display is a little bit bigger it's a 6.9 inch 120 hertz quad hd oled display which is nuts insane <laughs> literally everything the display is a little bit bigger it's a 6.9 inch 120 hertz quad hd oled display which is nuts insane <laughs> literally everything the display is a little bit bigger it's a 6.9 inch 120 hertz quad hd oled display which is nuts insane <laughs> literally everything the display is a little bit bigger it's a 6.9 inch 120 hertz quad hd oled display which is nuts insane <laughs> literally everything the display is a little bit bigger it's a 6.9 inch 120 hertz quad hd oled display which is nuts Now, like I said before, this monitor is mainly for entertainment, but it could also be used for some light gaming. So I tested this with the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro, and it works great. 
the 4K HDR is great and using the game HDR preset, it really made the picture quality much better. Of course, this is only a 60Hz panel, so console gaming is fine, but I wouldn't recommend it for PC gaming. But it does the job if you would like to play every once in a while. So I've been testing this monitor out for some time now and I replaced my bedroom TV with this and I honestly love it. Watching TV shows and movies on Netflix and Disney Plus have been great. I get all the benefits of watching a 4K movie with HDR10 support and combined with Brightness Intelligence Plus, I could get the best looking colors, contrast and overall image quality. Not only that, but having a 2.1 channel audio built in, I will also get great sound while keeping my setup very minimal. Even with non-HDR supported applications, using the emulated mode still improves everything for my viewing experience. I also love that there's a lot of presets for both the video and audio quality, so whatever you're doing, you'll get the best experience. I also like that it came with a controller to program everything, so it makes it feel so much more like a TV. Even though that this is for entertainment, I could still use it for console gaming, so that's not a problem of course. I don't really have any cons for this monitor, it gives me all the possibilities I want as a TV, and of course I could still use it as a regular monitor. I could plug a desktop or a laptop to it and still use it like a regular monitor if I need to. I could even bump up the settings from 60Hz to 75Hz in the settings on my computer, and with BenQ's low blue light feature, I won't damage my eyes throughout time. So overall, I think this is a great option for someone that already uses a TV to plug their laptop or desktop to and also loves to watch movies and TVs. For the price, I would prefer this and other TVs around the same price. But there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do have any questions on anything that I didn't cover, let me know down in the comments below as well as everything will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, it's HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!